saved by grace, not by works, so that, so that no one can boast. And I'm alive, and I'm well, and I'm well. Good morning. Welcome to 40 Days of Miracles. It's still dark outside, but what a beautiful morning for a walk. I'm up at Hidden Falls before sunrise to do a little quick five-mile walk through the park. Beautiful falls. We're studying and reading every miracle recorded in the Gospels. Jesus has 40 different miracles that are identified in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Our faith grows. It's hard to believe it's still dark, but in just a few minutes, the sun's gonna come up. How do I know that? Well, just like you, it happens every day. We don't always understand what's happening in our lives, but by faith, we know that the Lord is going to do miracles, signs, and wonders in our lives, in the lives of our family, in the lives of our friends and ministries. Today we're in Matthew chapter 12, verse 22. It's a very short story, but it is powerful. Then a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute, in other words, he couldn't speak, was brought to Jesus. Jesus healed the man, so the man was delivered. He was able to see, and he was able to speak again. The crowd was amazed. Could it be that Jesus is the son of David, the Messiah? This story is so powerful. This man's life is so messed up. It reminds me of a good friend of mine that was a contractor, and he had gone to a a mutual friend of ours, and the guy said, hey, I'm having problems with my electrical. My friend that was the contractor took a look and said, well, uh, it's worse than you think. You have dry rot. Oh, really? Can you fix it? Sure. You also have termites. What? It was like everything he looked at, it got worse and worse and worse. Nothing is too difficult for Jesus. We have layers and layers and layers of challenges and struggles and problems. But just take a deep breath. Jesus is your Lord and your Savior. Number one observation about this story is as messed up as this man's life was, he was deaf, he, uh, he, he was mute, he couldn't see, and he was demon-possessed. Jesus heals him completely and completely delivers him. The second observation I have is, who's your friend? Who's your friend? I'll tell you what a friend is. A friend is somebody that will bring you to Jesus, bring you closer to, that's a friend. In the Gospel of John, chapter 1, there's the story of of Andrew bringing Peter and, of course, Philip bringing Nathaniel to the Lord. Are your friends bringing you closer to Jesus? If they are, they are friends. This man was brought to Jesus. He was healed and he was delivered. Jesus is the Redeemer and Jesus is the Restorer. Isn't it wonderful that Jesus is our Restorer? 
I love the passage of scripture that's found. It's found all the way back in the book of Joel, the prophet. I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. Oh, I want you to be encouraged today. Don't be afraid. Oh, I know it's so overwhelming and it's difficult, but Jesus is in your heart. He's in your boat. He's in your life. Oh, let's just worship the Lord and stay in the Word. And remember, God loves you, and so do we. He said, prophesy to these that they would rise. I'll fill you with my spirit, and surely you will live. Now, Jesus, I am living for you. Take me away up high in the spirit. Take me away. Well, the sun's getting coming up, and I'm getting ready for my morning walk and prayer time. Remember, God loves you, and so do we. And you, you be blessed today.